This is a medical video lecture OBGYN and today I'm going to talk about prolonged latent phase. To understand this prolonged latent phase, we should know what latent phase is. You know, there are different stages of the labor, the stage 1, the stage 2, stage 3, and even a stage 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The stage 1 is divided into, it has two components. One is a latent phase, and another one is a, the active phase. Okay, the latent phase and the active phase. So, we're going to talk about this latent phase. The latent phase, it begins with the onset of regular contraction and ends with the acceleration of cervical dilation, right? And what is the reason for this latent phase? Why it is there? It, the, it is there to prepare the cervix for rapid dilation through the effacement, okay? Right? The average duration of uh, what you call this latent phase is 6.5. 4 hours 6.4 hours in primary para 6.4 hours in a primary para and 4.8 hours in multi para okay right 4.8 hours in multi para this is primary para and the multi para okay and if you talk about the upper limit the maximum it can be it can be um in what you call maybe up to 20 hours 20 hours in a primary para and up to 14 hours in multi para okay so this is the basics of the latent phase so let's talk about the prolonged latent phase so by definition the prolonged latent phase is the cervical dilation should be less than or equals to 3 cm and the acceleration phase of the dilation has not been reached okay and the duration has extended more than 20 hours in a primary para and more than 14 hours in multi para right this is really very important so this is the definition of this and if it extends more than 20 hours in a primary para and more than 14 hours in a multi para with the cervical dilation less than 30 cm constitutes a prolonged latent phase right what are the causes for that Let's talk about this. The latent phase abnormalities are most commonly caused by analgesia. Remember, it's because of the analgesia. analgesia. Okay? Right? And the other causes can be like hypotonic contractions. Okay? Or hypertonic contractions. Hypotonic contractions like inadequate frequency, duration, or intensity. Hypotonic contractions like high intensity but inadequate duration or frequency. Okay? So these things can cause what you call prolonged latent phase. Right? What's the treatment for this? The management is, is nothing but rest and sedation. Rest and sedation. Okay, guys? So this is all about the prolonged latent phase. I hope you got an idea. The prolonged latent, latent phase is patient with what you call regular intrant contraction, cervical dilation less than 3 cm, and no cervical change in 14 hours in a multi-para or more than 20 hours in 